G'day, how you going? Hello, hello, welcome. I want to say hello to all my subscribers, uh, non-subscribers, trolls, bots, and hi to that Luca and Luca's a bite, and g'day for if you're in the future or the past, you know, I hope it's a bit better than what we're living through today. Okay, just some people are still a little bit confused when we say raise your vibrations. It's nothing to do with new age blasphemous stuff of uh, tarots or crystals or anything like that uh, quite clearly states in the Bible not to have anything like that and that's not what I'm intending. Um, I intend, as it says in the Bible, um, you know, to think positively, don't think negatively, don't be around things that are going to be bad for you. Um, I don't mean yoga or Reiki or vitalism or anything like that. So I'm going to share one more time. And then after that, it's done um, because I have been speaking with lawyers and this is just getting a little bit beyond a joke in these attacks that's going on. So everything has been filed and archived. And as it says in the Bible, you do not uh, continue on quarreling. If a brother sins against you, go tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you've gained a brother. I tell you, on the day of judgment, people will give account for every careless word they speak. For by your words will be justified, and by your words you will be condemned. Repay no one evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honourable in the sight of all. The beginning of strife is like letting out water, so quiet before the quarrel, quarrel breaks out. Now the works of the flesh are evident, sexual immorality, impurity, sensuality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife, jealousy, fits of anger, rivalries, dissentations, divisions, envy, drunkenness, orgies and things like these. I warn you, as I warned before, that those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of God, but the fruit of the Spirit is love peace, patience, kindness, joy, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. A greedy man stirs up strife, but the one who trusts in the Lord will be enriched. For God has not destined us for wrath, but obtained salvation through the Lord Jesus Christ. As for the person who stirs up division, after warning him once and then twice, have nothing to do with them. And that's what I'm doing. I haven't had anything to do with this person I thought this person was a friend and this is beyond a joke so um, I did send a cease and desist but I'll send another one and I will be sending it to his Facebook I know he has Facebook I have his home address and that's it I'm done it's left with the lawyers and it's left with Jesus so therefore take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand the evil day and having done all stand firm but if you bite and devour one another, watch out, you are not consumed by another. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see where they're from God, for many false prophets have gone into the wind. And finally, be strong in the day, be strong in the Lord and his strength of his might, put the whole armour of God on, that you might be able to stand the schemes of the devil, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over the present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evils in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armour of God, that you may be able to withstand the evil day, and having done all, stand firm. Stand therefore, having fastened on the belt of truth, and having put on the breastplate of righteousness. Frequencies and energies, what Christians need to know. When I say the word frequency in my class, I can always tell the people who are where I used to be about it. Any terms like these that were associated by New Age, and that's blasphemous, that New Age stuff, by our society without any actual education or biblical research into the matter, tend to cause that look that says, Oh, you're not really a Christian. But you know me. I'm a researcher through and through, and God's Word is the ultimate research source. So I dug into it, and because of what I found, that's why I speak about frequency and energy in my classes. I want to share a bit about what I've learned on this topic, because if we understand it, it can impact our lives in a powerful way. What we don't know about it can hurt us. Let's start by talking about what I mean when I say frequency and energy. Raise your vibrations, right? Energy. 
all matter produces energy. Words are energy, electricity is energy, speed is energy. All these forms of energy causes reaction or result. Look first, look at the very first demonstration of the words being energy in God's word. Let there be light and there was light. Genesis 1.3 God spoke the, the earth into existence with words, but we are not God. We are, however, created in his image. Here's what's so very important for us, especially Christians, to understand. The thoughts and beliefs that you carry produce energy and direct your life. Be careful what you think because your thoughts run your life. Proverbs 4.23 For as he thinks in his heart, so is he. Proverbs 23.7 Thoughts as well as physical words cause physical energy that directs our lives and the lives of those around us. So, And they've done studies where they, they had plants and they spoke nicely. They had several plants. They had controls and all that. So they had a whole group and they spoke nicely to one plant, mean to another, and they said nothing to another. And the one that had all positive everything sort of stuff, that plant grew the best. Okay. So... Through the 1990s, Dr. Masur Itamo performed a series of experiments observing the physical effects of words, prayers, music, and environment to the crystalline structure of water. Emito hired photographers to take pictures of the water after being exposed to different variables and subsequently frozen so that he would f they would form crystal structures. The results were nothing short of remarkable. And you don't use crystals or tarots or anything like that. That stuff is really bad for you. Don't do it. Do not turn to mediums or necromancers. Do not seek them out. So make your and make yourselves unclean by them. I am your Lord God. But for as a cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for the murderers, the sexual immorality, sorcerers, idolaters, and all the liars, their position will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Outside are dogs and sorcerers and the sexually immoral and the murders and adulterers and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. You know, I haven't even had sex in 13 years because I got baptized and it was two years of um, no sex and then I got baptized and I still haven't had sex. I haven't laid with a man, I don't lay with women. I'm totally pure, connected to Jesus Christ. You can see how the words used physically create changes. The average human body is 60% water. Ponder that for a moment. Death and life are in power of the tongue. Proverbs 18.21 The thoughts and beliefs that you carry produce energy around you. Have you ever noticed that your emotions affect the emotions of others around you? If you love people and care about them, they will feel drawn to you. People who are pleasant and full of love emit an energy that attracts people. We are talking about more than just physical en energy stimulated by emotions here. Another example from God's word. So the Lord said, if you have faith as a mustard seed, you would stay, say to this tree, be pulled up by the roots and planted in the sea and it would obey you. Luke 17, 6. When Jesus spoke to the fig tree that dried up in the wind and the waves, he was demonstrating the undeniable Bible biblical principle that things obey words. Jesus demonstrated to his disciple the many, many ways to use, create results. Let's clear up that we're not talking about a name it, claim it gospel. We are simply seeing how our thoughts and words are energy. Sometimes it is not manifested as instant viable result. We see this when someone is changing their life from years of negative thinking to positive thinking. It can take many months for a renewed mind to produce physical changes. This is important because it affects everything we do. It affects the outcome of businesses. It affects the way our children grow up. It affects the outcome of our marriage. Are we proclaiming curses over our children or our spouse when we consistently tell them about their flaws? Things are responding to your words every day, so speak good things to all that surrounds your life. If you really believe Jesus words will you will monitor your thoughts and conversations because you are the one giving substance to your word through words frequency now that we've explored a little about what energy is and how it is important for us to understand let's briefly discuss frequencies all matter is made of atoms including your children car your table there is space between the atoms and space for allows for movement vibrations if you heat up a cup of water it boils the electrons in the atoms produce a higher vibration and become excited in that response to the heat when you freeze water this cold energy slows down and the vibrations of the atomic structure so that the water becomes solid all things produce energy as we discussed and this energy has frequency that can be measured for instance measuring in megahertz it is found that 
Processed canned food has zero megahertz frequency. You shouldn't eat it. It's not good for you. Dry herbs from 15 to 22 mega megahertz. You should have them fresh. Fresh food, 27 to 20 megahertz. Fresh herbs or oil, 27 to 20 megahertz. Essential oils start at 52 megahertz and go as high as 320 megahertz rose oil. The highest of any natural substance known to man. Organic foods have higher frequency than conventional foods. Drinking coffee was found to lower a person's frequency at approximately 40 megahertz. In experiments, negative thoughts lowered a person's measurement measured frequency by 12 megahertz and positive thoughts have raised that measured frequency by 10 megahertz it is also found that prayer and mediation increased the measured frequency levels by 15 megahertz and i don't mean mediation like yoga crap don't do that yoga is the devil's stuff um i don't mean yoga or anything reiki or, or anything to do with vitalism anything to do with that okay right next part Frequency is electrical energy. It is defined as measurable rate of electrical energy that is consistent between any two points. When there is a frequency, there is electromagnetic magnetic potential. We are being influenced by the magnetic action or attraction of the frequencies that surround us every day, and these frequencies influence the state of well-being, as briefly discussed above. Nikola Tesla said that you could eliminate certain outside frequencies that interfered with our electrical frequencies. We would have greater disease resistance. We can see an example of this in simple, profound words from Pastor John Eldridge on healing and prayer. So we gathered up a group of folks to lay our hands on our friend and pray for physical healing only it wasn't working and I could tell it wouldn't even if we have kept it I paused and I quietly in my heart I asked Jesus what's going on here Lord what are we doing how do we change the way we are praying Jesus replied ask him how he feels about his body so I interrupted the prayer an awkward but necessary thing to do and told our friend I think Jesus is asking you a question how do you feel about your body his cynical reply was immediate Easy, I hate my body. There was the an our answer. There was the break in the wiring. You can, can't can bring a blessing into a body while the owner of that body is cursing it. Research proves over and over again that patients who have positive attitude are much more likely to recover. Hopefully you can see energy and frequency are not principles that we should write off as new age but look to God's word and how they are part of his creation, part of our spiritual, emotional and physical health. We make choices. What do you and believe affects everything around you? You actually create your own reality. Your perception of life becomes your life. In order to change your life, you first must go to the controlling beliefs and lifestyle habits in your life. Identify negative, limiting thoughts and beliefs that cause fear, guilt, shame, hopelessness, fear, feelings of doubt, sickness, defeat. Reprogram your beliefs by speaking energized, life-giving words of power. Speak only with what agrees with you Christ says you are. This is why it is so incredibly important that we, as God's children, understand energy and frequency. Blessings of good health. So I'll say it again, raise your vibrations, but not in the new age blasphemous way. Connect with Jesus Christ. Thanks for watching. Much love. Bye now.